Welcome to Beyond X's and O podcast. I'm your host, Anthony Petralis, and we are really excited to be uh, doing our first episode here, our pilot episode. And, you know, we have a really special guest in store for you guys today, someone that I think will, you know, be a, a real inspiration and just listening to will make uh, young coaches really motivated and coaches that have been doing it for a while really take out their notepads and listen. So, you know, why did I start this? Well, I'm, I'm a 15 year educator. I'm a fifth grade elementary school teacher. But within those 15 years, I also got into the world of coaching high school football. And I started out as, you know, a freshman assistant to a varsity assistant to a varsity defensive coordinator and then eventually becoming a head coach. So the one thing I've learned when people ask me about my coaching career is, um, you know, well, how was it? You know, well, tell me about your coaching career. And I split it up into two parts, right? So I split it up into part one is what I just mentioned to you as a freshman coach, a varsity assistant and a defensive coordinator, because in those positions, you just focus on the X's and O's. You focus on grinding in the film room, making sure that players are prepared, always having scripts ready to go for practice, you know, doing a lot of film watching. I mean, really doing everything it takes to put the product on the field better. And as a coordinator, you're looking at packages, you're looking at depth charts, you're looking for your positional coaches. So everything is on the field, making the players better. And then I explain to people the second part of my coaching career is when you become a head coach. And not only are you worried about everything that I just mentioned, but you're also worried about boosters and parents and alumni and off-season conditioning programs and dealing with equipment and ordering things and getting your scrimmages in store and getting your games in store and then dealing with parents maybe with different issues with kids are going on in school or what's going on in personal life. And on top of it, your occupation or whatever it is that you're doing. So it is just a lot for a head coach to, to, to handle. And so when I explained both of those jobs, I think when I became a head coach, the one thing I realized was, man, I, I just can't worry about the X's and O's anymore. I got to worry about everything else. So, um, you know, I was lucky in, in my coaching career, the coach under is such a great man. And, and, and that's, you know, who our first guest is going to be. This, this guy is, if you talk about Massachusetts high school football, Everybody knows this person's name. Uh, he was recently, as of uh, two years ago or a year ago, um, inducted into the Massachusetts High School Coach, uh, Coaches Football Hall of Fame. Well deserved over um, you know many years of coaching and a big mentor in my life. Somebody who you know I just I go to about a lot of things and has always been there for me and just shows what a coach does beyond. He coached me, I coached with him, and I'm just so lucky to have him on the show. Uh, I just want to welcome our first guest ever on our Beyond X's and O podcast, Serge Clivio. Serge, welcome. Well, thank you so much, Anthony. It's such a pleasure to be here with you and uh, doing this. I'm so proud of you. I'm so proud of, you know, I'm proud of, number one, as you know, the young man that you have become, the man that you uh, and the kind of person you are, but uh, this is a great thing you're doing, and you know I'm so happy to be part of it. Awesome, and I appreciate that, Coach. I really do. I think this is great for you know coaches who have been doing it for a while, coaches that are just starting out, or coaches that are looking to make that climb, not just in football but in any sport, to just really hear about the thought and the ideas and you know the process that goes into running a program for sure. And I just think that you're such a great guy for people to listen to and, and how you've done it and done it the right way that um, this is something that should be heard amongst a lot of, a lot of coaches. 